Welcome to The Bachelor Mushroom Edition. Today, we have quite the selection of really fun guys. <laughs> but first, a disclaimer. I am not a mushroom expert and cannot identify species with precision. Therefore, this video should not be used as a harvesting guide. Never consume mushrooms that you cannot safely identify because dying from mushrooms sucks. Coral Mushroom these guys look like tiny branched corals, hence the name, giving the forest floor a magical mermaid kind of feel. Come in a variety of colors and feel very flippy floppy, <laughs> like a noodle texture perhaps. Some are able to live symbiotically with the trees that grow beneath. They break down plant matter into nitrogen and generously share it with their neighbors. In exchange, the plants provide extra metabolites and simple sugars. Not that they had a choice. Puffball, the most fun of all. They are named Puffball because spores gather like dust inside, and as the top tears open, the spores puff out like creepy brown clouds whenever they get bumped. Some of these can grow over a foot wide. Other than cooking, these have also been used to make ink, and they've been burned in bee smokers as a bee anesthetic. Conk is probably the most common one we'll see in the forest, mounted up on dead tree trunks, recycling the nutrients and emitting carbon dioxide. They are one of many polypores, named so because their structure consists of many tiny tubes stacked vertically like a honeycomb. This gives them extra surface area to make and store spores. They're also hard as a rock. <laughs> Turkey tail is pretty and leathery with rings of color resembling a turkey's tail. Each individual living specimen apparently has its own color and texture patterns, kind of like a little fungus fingerprint. They're currently being researched as a possible medicine for cancer patients. Okay, so Mycena is actually a broad genus <laughs> where its mushrooms are really difficult to tell apart, so I'm not even gonna try. These are the ones that have those iconic bell-shaped caps, long thin stems, and cute little gills underneath. Some of them can even glow in the dark, and people call this effect foxfire. Carbon antlers are super cool. These grow like spooky little ghost fingers sticking out of tree stumps. They're a little stiff too, so they really look like tiny burnt black twigs. And the tips are covered in a powdery white spores that just makes it look like ash from a fire. Amanita muscaria. This is the iconic Super Mario mushroom with its bright red cap, white spots, and gills. You might see these growing in really cool magical looking fairy rings. It always looks like animals are chewing on these, but they're generally considered poisonous with some hallucinogenic properties. I would probably just look at this one. Bird's nest fungus, my personal fave. When they split open at the top, they look like tiny little bird nests, complete with tiny little eggs inside, called peridials. These little packets of spores are flung into the air when a raindrop hits them, and the peridials are attached to this goopy, gooey thread, so during flight through the air, they might get wrapped around a nearby twig and grow there.
Please like if you liked and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, even if I didn't actually draw it. Thanks for watching.